Good morning. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Um, got this coffee cup at an estate sale. And here's some pasta dry food. So share with your neighbors any dry goods or, <clears throat> or any food at all. So yesterday I got cut off. Abraham came near and said... Suppose there were 50 righteous within the city. Would you also destroy the place and not spare it for the 50 that were in it? Would you destroy the city, Sodom, if there were 50 righteous people? The Lord said, If I find 50 righteous people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 155, 156, 157, 158, 159, 160, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170, 170
Here now, my lords, please turn into your servant's house and spend the night and wash your feet, that you may rise early and go on your way. Did I write that? Read that. Here now, my lords, please turn into your servant's house and spend the night and wash your feet, that you may rise early and go on your way. And I think at first they say, no, thank you. And then, oh, okay. Come to my house. You're very hospitable. So, lot is. Wash your feet. And then you can leave early. And go on your way. Before they had gone to bed, all the men from every part of the city of Sodom, both young and old, surrounded the house. They called to Lot, where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us so that we may have, so that we can have sex with them. So it's Genesis nineteen four through 10. Before they had gone to bed, all the men from every part of the city of Sodom, both young and old, surrounded, sur surrounded the house. And they called in and said, bring us the men, bring us the those guys, there's an old guy right there. And Lot says no. Genesis 19.6 So Lot went out to them through the doorway, shut the door behind him, and said, Please, my brethren, do not do such so wickedly. Please, my brethren, do not do so wickedly. See, now I have two daughters who have not known a man. Please... Let me bring them out to you. So that's a crazy thing that Lot said. Maybe he's desperate. And the two daughters are like, hey, what? And so, but, they, but dot, dot, dot. They struck the men with blindness, both small and great, so that they became weary trying to find the door. So they became blind. They have black sunglasses on. And they couldn't find the door. Where is the door? Then the men said to Lot, Have you anyone else here? Take them out of this place, for we will destroy this place. And Lot says, Okay, thanks. Those are my own words. I don't think Lot says that, that. So, have you anyone else here? Take them out of this place, for we will destroy this place. So Lot went out and spoke to his son, sons-in-law, who had married his daughter. Da that should be daughters. And said, get up, out of, get out of this place, for the Lord will destroy the city. So this must have been later, after the problem with the men trying to get in. So now the daughters are sleeping, and the sons-in-law... Uh, sons so Lot told him, get up, get out of this place, for the Lord will destroy the city. But to his sons-in-law, he seemed to be joking. Sometimes I think I joke too much during this quarantine, but you got to take it serious. Do what God says. Listen for him. Genesis 19:16. So it was dawn, and while he lingered, okay, I'm not sure if the family went with him, sons and maybe his virgin daughters went with him, but I don't know about his married daughters. And while he lingered, the men took hold of his hand, his wife's hand, and the hand of his two daughters. And they brought him out and set him outside the city. Genesis nineteen sixteen. So the angels took their hands as, while they lingered and waited. While, while Lot lingered, the men took hold of his hands. Like, come on, let's get going. Don't stop. So the angels took the wife's hand, took Lot's hands, and the hand of his two daughters, and brought them out of the city brought him out and set him outside the city at dawn. So it came to pass 
When they had brought them outside, that he said, Escape for your life. Do not look behind you. So one of the angels says, Escape for your life. Do not look behind you. But, but his wife looked back behind him and she became a pillar of salt. So I wonder where that salt is, if it's still around. Then the Lord rained fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah. Here's some fire and I'm not sure what brimstone is, but it doesn't seem good. Then the Lord rained fire and brimstone on Sodom and Gomorrah. Then he looked towards Sodom and Gomorrah, and he saw, and behold, the smoke of the land, which went up like the smoke of a furnace. Genesis 19.28. That must have been sad because he has his friends and family still there. Genesis 19.30. Lot and his two daughters left Zoar and settled in the mountains. Can you read that? Settled in the mountains, for he was afraid to stay in Zoar. He and his daughters lived in a cave. So they settled in Zoar, and Lot and his two daughters left and settled in the mountains, for he was afraid to stay in Zora. He and his two daughters lived in a cave. Uh oh. Lot and daughter one and daughter two lived in a cave. Lot said, I'm afraid to live in Zoar, so we'll stay here. One day, the older daughter said to the younger, Our father is old, and there is no man around here to give us children, as is the custom of all over the earth. Let's get our father to drink wine and then sleep with him and preserve our family line through our father. So the older daughter said to the younger, our father is old, and there's no man around here to give us children, as it's the custom to have children all over the earth. Everybody has children, so we want some too. Let's get our father drunk. Ah, Lot is getting drunk to drink wine, and then we'll sleep with him to preserve the family line through our father. So I guess the gene pool was cleaner back then and they had children through their dad. Family line through their father, but they kind of tricked Lot so that that's what oldest daughter said to the youngest daughter. Our father is old. There's no man around here to give us children as is the custom all over the earth. Let's get our father to drink wine and then sleep with him and preserve our family line through our father. So both of Lot's daughters became pregnant by their father. The older daughter had a son and she named him Moab. The younger daughter also had a son and she named him Ben-Ami. He is the father of the Ammonites of today. And I don't know if those are Moabites. So both of Lot's daughters became pregnant Daughter one, the oldest daughter, had Moab, who might have been the Moabites. And daughter two had ben -Ami. The younger daughter had ben -Ami, the father of the Ammonites. So I don't know if the Moabites were bad or the Ammonites were bad. I'll have to look that up. But this does not seem like a good thing that happened. Back to Abraham. Yay. Genesis 22, Abraham said of his wife, Sarah, whoops, she is my sister. So I seem to be missing a piece here about uh, Abimelech. Abraham goes somewhere. And they talk to Abimelech, and again, Abraham says, Sarah is my sister, oh dear. She's my sister. Then Abimelech, king of Gerar, sent for Sarah and took her. But God came to Abimelech 
in a dream one night and said to him, You are as good as dead because of the woman you have taken. She is a married woman. He said. So Abimelech, King Abimelech said about Sarah, I'll take her. You know. But God said into a dream, You are as good as dead because of the woman you have taken. She is a married woman. Sarah is married. Genesis 20, 14. Then Abimelech brought sheep and cattle and male and female servants and gave them to Abraham. He was sorry. And he returned Sarah, his wife, to him. Abimelech said, My land is before you. Live wherever you like. So he felt really bad about that. So Abimelech returned Sarah, his wife, to him. Here's your wife. And he said, Welcome to my land. Live wherever you like. I should write you like right there. Abimelech's land. Sarah and Abraham could live wherever. To Sarah, he said, he, must, he felt really bad. I am giving your brother a thousand shekels of silver. This is to cover the off offense against you. Before all who are with you, you are completely vindicated or let go. So he's kind of like, I forgive you. I'm giving you your brother, or Abraham. He should know it's not his brother. A thousand shekels of silver. And you're giving that to Abraham and Sarah. I should write that in. I don't know if he gives them livestock and, yeah. Then up here it says, Genesis 20, 14. Abimelech brought sheep and cattle and male and female slaves and gave them to Abraham. So that was nice of them. Genesis twenty seventeen. Then Abraham prayed to God and God healed Abimelech, his wife and his female slaves, so they could have children again. For the Lord had kept all the women in Abimelech's household from conceiving because of Abraham, Sarah, Abraham's wife, Sarah. So Abraham prayed to God, and God healed Abimelech. I'm healed. His wife and slaves, and his female slaves, so they could have children again. I'm healed, his wife says. And Abimelech's household... The female sl slaves, I should write, female slaves right here. We're healed. We can have children. Everyone, every woman, all the women in Abimelech's household could have children now. Genesis 21. Now the Lord was gracious to Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah what he had promised, dot, dot, dot. Sarah said, God has brought me laughter, and everyone who hears about this will laugh with me. So the Lord was gracious to Sarah, and the Lord did what he was promised. And Sarah said, God has brought me laughter, and everyone who hears about this will laugh with me. Ha ha, did you hear? Ha ha. And she added, Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children? Yet I have borne him a son in his old age. Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse children. Sarah will nurse children. Who would have said that? Yet I have borne a son in his old age. So in Abraham's old age, Sarah has born a son, Isaac. So once you get pregnant, when you're trying to have a baby, it's so exciting when you get pregnant. I know. The child grew and was weaned. On the day that Isaac was weaned, Abraham had a great feast. Okay, so the the child was grew and was weaned. Isaac was weaned, I guess, stopped nursing, getting milk from Sarah. No more nursing. Yay. So they're going to have a feast, a great party. There's a great feast with a lot of food. Praise the Lord. No more nursing, but Sarah saw Ishmael. But Sarah saw that when when Hagar 
But Sarah saw that the son whom Hagar, the Egyptian, had borne to Abraham was mocking and making fun and laughing. And she said to Abraham, Get rid of that slave woman and her son, for that woman's son will never share in the inheritance with my son Isaac. But Sarah saw, so she's looking across the room, that the son whom Hagar the Egyptian had born was mocking. So Ishmael is mocking and laughing. Ha ha. She said to Abraham, Get rid of that slave woman and her son, for that woman's son will never share in the inheritance with my son Isaac. So that's like her stepson. What a mess. But he will receive no inheritance, no share in inheritance with Isaac. With Isaac. Ishmael will not share with the inheritance, so get rid of him. Genesis 21, 11. I hope she didn't mean kill him. Just get rid of him. <laughs> the matter distressed Abraham greatly because it concerned his son. But God said to him, Do not be so distressed about the boy and your slave woman. Listen to whatever Sarah tells you, because it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. I will make the son of the slave into a nation also, because he is your offspring reckoned. That's an interesting name. Isaac will be okay, because it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. I have to look that up. So God said to Abraham, don't be distressed. Don't worry about it. Be blessed. Don't be stressed. Don't be distressed. Listen to Sarah. So here's his ears. Listen to Sarah. Because through, off, through Isaac, your offspring will be reckoned. So your children, children's children, children's children's children, your offspring will be okay. Reckoned. <clears throat> Through Isaac, your offspring will be reckoned. So don't worry about Israel, Ishmael. I will make the son of the slave, Ishmael, the son of Hagar. <clears throat> I'll make him into a nation because he is your offspring. He is the offspring of Abraham, so <clears throat> God will take care of him. Do not be distressed about the boy and your slave woman. Listen to whatever Sarah tells you, because it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. I will make the son of the slave into a nation also, because he is your offspring. Genesis 21, 14. Early the next morning, Abraham took some food and a skin of water and gave them to Hagar. He set them on her shoulders and set her off with the boy. She went on her way and wandered in the desert of Beersheba. So early in the morning, kind of secretively, Abraham gave Hagar some food and water. 